going on everybody? Chandler here from ESE. So I figured it's about time I finally make a comparison video between the previous generation of KTM 50SX and the current 2024 50SX factory edition. Um, Mason has been racing these bikes now for a few years, uh, really likes them. So this year we stepped up and got him into the uh, <laughs> factory edition as you can see here. His previous bike, the 2020 50SX, not a factory edition, has been a really good bike, um, but the differences between the two are pretty astounding. So I figured I'd make a video to try to pinpoint some of these for you, um, to kind of show you what the differences are firsthand. Um, so that way, if you have any questions, you know what you're dealing with. Um, there are quite a few differences in these bikes. Let's get started. All right, so for the 2020 KTM 50SX, I'm going to post the stats for both machines up on the screen here. So if you want to pause and uh, make it a little bit easier to take all that down, feel free. Horsepower on this one, you're at 7 to 11 horsepower with a standard displacement of 49 cc's. Suspension-wise, not much of a difference between the older model and the newer one. Still 35 millimeter front forks with an 8.1 inch travel uh, on the front and 7.3 to 7.4 inches of travel on the rear. Fuel capacity still at 0.6 gallons, dry weight around 92 pounds. On to the 2024 KTM 50SX Factory Edition. Now this bike puts out a good bit more power at 11 to 15 horsepower, a little bit more displacement as well at 49.95 cc's. Um, suspension wise on this bike, still pretty much the exact same. 35 millimeter forks in the front with pretty much similar travel front and rear. Um, still a 0.6 gallon fuel tank. Weight wise though, the new bike is a little bit heavier at 93.69 pounds. All right, so let's start with the simple stuff. As you can see here, the foot pegs on this bike are a completely different design. Um, they're much more open in style. They're supposed to allow mud to clean out a lot easier and not accumulate as much mud as the previous foot pegs. They also sit up a little bit higher too, so that way when you're leaning the bike over in a rut, um, you don't have to worry about them catching as often. Now the next one's kind of a big one for all the, uh, the KTM 50 dads out there. As you can see, this bike has a one-piece radiator, which is big because the previous bike had a two-piece radiator, and the previous generation of KTM was prone to overheating quite frequently, especially in mud races or sloppy situations. Um, so to see that they've uh, made an effort to mitigate that is pretty awesome. Um, apparently and supposedly, this thing cools a lot better, and I can tell you in the three or four hours that we have on the bike so far, it has not had an overheating issue yet, so that's definitely awesome to see. So in this picture, you can see the radiator I just mentioned, but you can also see the redesigned cylinder, the redesigned cylinder cap, and the redesigned water pump. But the most noticeable thing, to me at least, is that FMF fatty pipe, completely redesigned for the 2024 model year. Oh, check this part out. This part's pretty sweet. So the new 2024 KTM 50SX models all have this redesigned airbox, which actually is sweet because the previous airbox was prone to letting dirt fall into the air, uh, air intake opening anytime you pulled off that piece of toast filter that came on it. Now, of course, it's got a redesigned filter housing with a redesigned filter. So when you pull that filter off, you don't have the risk of crap falling down inside the air intake anymore, which is pretty sweet. So consider me stoked. All right, so if you're wondering what's going on over here, I'm actually pulling off the stator cover on this bike so we can take a look at the brand new ignition system available on this machine. Um, so this bike actually has the exact same or similar ignition system as available on its bigger brethren in that, in that it has ignition timing that varies based on the RPM of the engine. Um, that's pretty cool, especially for such a small bike. Um, hopefully it won't be prone to problems. The previous stator on this bike had a lot of issues, more due to water intrusion than anything else, um, but hopefully this new design will be for the better and uh, time will tell. All right, so to round this all up, uh, the new KTM 50 has a whole host of new features and upgrades um, that are pretty impressive. We went over a bunch of them, from the new foot pegs to the new cylinder, the new cylinder cap, um, the new ignition system, the new airbox, 
it's really got some awesome stuff going on, but I definitely forgot some too, like the new clutch design. They added a whole, uh, a whole new disc to the clutch for better bite and engagement, which is pretty cool. Um, they actually added a whole different, a whole other level of height adjustability to the, to the bike that didn't exist prior. Um, of course, you could always adjust the forks in the triple tree to raise the front end up a little bit. You had two points of adjustment on the rear shock, so you could actually raise it up to a, a whole different point, a higher point um, when your child was ready. Now they added a whole different uh, way to raise the height even further up to another inch. They added an adapter piece that you add in underneath the gas tank and underneath the seat and plastics that brings everything up even further. So that's really, really cool. Aside from that, it has a whole new chromoly frame. Um, the previous frame was just standard steel. This is a chromoly steel, so it's a little bit stronger. Um, and they actually redesigned the frame too, which I'll show here. Um, pretty cool that they did that. Um, aside from all that, this bike just rips. It's completely different uh, the way that the bike sounds, the way the bike pulls. My son says it's twice as fast as his old bike. I don't know if that's true, but it's definitely faster. And the thing just sounds mean. Um, so I'll include some video too of him ripping on it. As always, thanks for watching. We appreciate you tagging along and we'll catch y'all out there. Yeah, Hunter!